Hey everybody, today we're going to install a set of taillights on the back of my John Deere 214. Now if you're doing any sort of operation near the road or anywhere where there's going to be other vehicles, um, more visibility can't hurt. So since most John Deere 200 series tractors come with headlights, they don't come with taillights, but you can get them as an accessory. So that's what I've done here. I've bought us uh, John Deere's harness and taillights. Now, could I have made a harness for this? Yeah, I could have done that. Um, but for simplicity's sake, I decided to go ahead and just buy the pre-made harness for this tractor. Um, there's also plenty of other options for lights out there. You can get LEDs and so on. I think the best way and maybe even the only way to do this is going to be to take the rear fenders off. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. Okay, so we have the harness here that I purchased off of eBay. Um, I'm going to ground point over here. And what I'm going to do right now is since I attach that, it's going to give me a good idea of what my reach is with the rest of the harness. Now, the problem with this harness is that you don't have actually everything you need to get up to the front of the tractor to where you need to connect to the headlight. Uh, apparently on older tractors, uh, I'm not sure what the serial number or the year was that this, this ended, but there was actually an existing wire in the harness here that this would plug right into. In our case here, we're going to have to make an extension to run up underneath the dash there to connect up near the headlight switch. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and attach the extension that I made and, and run it up through the dash and then secure everything with cable ties. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and splice the new wire into the existing headlight wire. You could do this over closer to the dash, but I decided to do it here because it's easier to access. Plus over at the dash, if you do it over there, just make sure you do the right one on the correct side of the headlight switch. If you do it on the wrong side, then your taillights are going to be on all the time because one side's a constant 12 volts.
it looks like we're all set so i just got to get it all put back together and we'll see what it looks like when it's all finished